Okay, now if you remember yesterday, Samsung paused the One UI 7 stable release across the globe. And so far, there is no confirmation about when we are going to get the One UI 7 update in various different countries. And there is no explanation given by Samsung regarding this. Android Authority has reported that one of the spokesperson from Samsung has stated that the One UI 7 rollout schedule is being updated to ensure the best possible experience. The new timing and availability will be shared shortly. Now, this is really vague. We do not have any official communication about the reason for this pause and we don't even know what is the updated schedule for the release of One UI 7 stable version which is too bad. At the moment what we know is that a new One UI 7 stable build has been uploaded to the server as per Tarun Watts. He tweeted the latest build number which has been uploaded to the server now which ends with BYD9. And he says no concrete information on whether this or a new one will be rolled out and when. But a new build means that bugs have been fixed. So yeah, the bugs have been fixed now. So we can expect the stable release to start anytime soon. I will anyways keep you posted about everything that is happening with One UI 7. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. We are still covering One UI 7 probably for the next couple of weeks. And then we will start focusing on the Android app videos, tips and tricks videos, One UI 8 videos, etc. So be sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Now moving on, Smart Bricks has leaked some very important information about One UI 8. We can see some minor changes on this alpha build of One UI 8 on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. As you can see on this image, One UI version is 8.0, Android version is 16 and the Google Play system update is for May 2025. And then you can also see this Android 16 Easter egg here. No changes in the icon. Samsung has already redesigned the icons on One UI 7 and that might stay for a long time. We can see some changes in the Samsung's default application. Like you can see on this My Files, the layout has been redesigned. We can see these tabs, images, videos, audio files, documents, downloads and installation files all are right on top in these wide rectangles compared to the squarish ones that we had earlier. And then you can see some changes in the gallery application. We've got videos, favorites, recents and locations right on top. Then we've got shared albums, clean out, trash and settings in this pill shaped design, which is actually not matching with the design on the My Files app. As you can see, when we look at it side by side, we've got capsule on the right and we have got these wider rectangles on the left hand side with rounded edges. So I think there is a lot of work to be done as far as these minor designs are concerned. And Smart Bricks also says now Brief will not be exclusive to the Galaxy S25 series. It is expected to arrive on the other models as well with the release of One UI 8. We all know what Now Brief does. Currently, it is available on the Galaxy S25 series. When you tap on Now Brief, you get to see all the information that you need, including your weather, reminders, photos that you have taken during the day, missed call alerts, etc. And it will also show you personalized suggestions on Now Brief, which is basically an AI feature. Now, we all thought that this is going to be exclusive to the Galaxy S25 series because we did not get this on One UI 7 for the Galaxy S24 series. Maybe Samsung is reserving this feature for One UI 8 for the rest of the Samsung Galaxy phones. These are some minor changes which are expected on One UI 8. Let's hope that One UI 7 arrives very soon. I'll keep you guys posted and let's hope to see more leaks about One UI 8. As and when it comes out, I will keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. If you haven't downloaded our wallpaper application Volvers, go ahead, download it. The link is in the description. Every day you will get to see some brand new wallpapers, free and premium. After you download it, do not forget to rate it on Play Store. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.